Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ, this is WD Detailing, and this video is sponsored by Manscaped, but more on that later. Today, we're down here at Neo Classics with John McDonald, who is the hey owner, guys. the curator, the, uh, the CEO, if you will, and he has allowed us to come and detail this 1995 BMW E36 M3. But John is, uh, what, the second owner? Because you bought it. Right, so I'm the second owner. I bought it at Stoddard Porsche, which doesn't exist anymore, but it was literally a thousand feet this direction. Uh, I bought it in the year 2000, right off their front line. Uh, I was a recent college graduate. I had no money. I had no business <laughs> buying a car like this and got my hands on what at the time was my dream car. In the 90s, this was everybody's absolute uh, pinnacle of performance that you would hope to, that you could afford. I couldn't afford it, but I got my hands on it. The prices on these currently so, are just yeah, through the moon. Right. Now, now people, people have money, are a little older. They have yeah, jobs. They have a income. decent career. They've yeah. got some expendable income. And now they want the car that they wish they had then. Yeah, so I yeah. just still happen to still have mine. But anything specific that you had done that, that made it, you know, that made it your BMW or? So the thing that I was determined to do was to keep it stock uh, because at the time it was popular to accessorize and modify mm -hmm. and there was all kinds of things that you could have done to get more performance out of it or make it look more modern mm -hmm. and thankfully I couldn't afford to do any of those things so mine is still totally stock. So yeah I had plans for an audio system and I had plans for performance upgrades and I did none of it. Um, so. Uh, oh. I've just enjoyed it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's got a pretty thick layer of, uh, of dust and dirt on it. How long does it take to accumulate some, you know? So this, this is dirt? carefully accumulated over probably <laughs> four years. I hate to say, probably four years. four years. It used to be that I would try to drive this car all the time and mm -hmm. drive it through the summer, but I just haven't had the time. Yeah. So it's been sitting over here being neglected. <laughs> and I have kids. Car seats don't fit too well in the, the back seat. I mean, the... I've got them. I've got car seats in the Ferrari out there. So oh, okay. I, I, I could put car seats in it. I was gonna say. It's, it's just been something that I've, you know, sort of yeah. uh, been sitting over there in the corner neglected, unfortunately. And Man, you know, if I could ever get to the point to where I can neglect a, a classic BMW M3 and, and drive other cool cars, man, I, life's uh, going pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. I mean, I feel bad about it, so I'm glad that uh, we connected with you guys. 100%. To be yeah. able to make it look how it should. Cool. Well, without further ado, we're going to get right. to it. Great. Sweet. Sounds good. All right, guys, so it's Brent here, and I'm not going to talk too much on the car. You already saw a lot of it before, and they talked about it. But on the interior, you will see that there was a complete layer of mold. I don't know why these cars that after they sit for so long, they always have mold in them, but this one did too. But what I do want to do is take a second and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and that you like the video if you enjoy it. Obviously, you know it helps us out a lot. It keeps us motivated, all that stuff. So I just want to say thank you guys for all the support you've been giving us recently. You guys have been killing it and we want to keep doing this, keep making these videos. And for the question of the video, make sure you guys leave your answers in the comments below. If you were a YouTuber, what kind of content would you make? Obviously, you're watching car detailing content. I'm sure some of you guys would like to do that, but not everyone likes to make that stuff or even watch it. So what would be your thing? And now a word from our sponsors. So we're working on this really cool BMW that has all original paint and is obviously covered with a ton of dirt, dust, and grime. And we need to remove that as safely as possible without scratching or nicking the paint underneath. Manscaped, which is our proud sponsor of this video and WD Detailing, has come out with the new Lawnmower 4.0 that allows you to shave your body, butt, 
and balls without nicking or scratching. Guys, it's a whole new balls game. The Lawnmower 4.0 uses ceramic blades with skin safe technology to help reduce nicks and cuts so you could groom with confidence along with four trimmer guard options to get that hair to the perfect length. It's perfect because it's both cordless and it's waterproof so you can even trim in the shower which makes for an easy cleanup too. It even has a wireless charging system and a tri-level power indicator to see how much battery life is left and other razors definitely don't have that. It also has a travel lock feature to make sure your trimmer doesn't buzz or drain battery in your suitcase. Guys, we've been approached by a lot of brands and we have disregarded all of them because we didn't believe in the products that they were selling, but Manscaped products actually work. I can vouch for that. My boys have never been so shaved and I have never felt so safe shaving them. So use our code WD20 or click the link in the top of the description or pinned in the top comment and you will be taken to manscaped.com where you can get 20% off your total order. And guys, like I said, it actually works. And again, we really wanna say thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring the video and creating a product that we can actually feel comfortable telling you guys that you should purchase, especially if you care about your boys. So guys, check them out and thank you, Manscaped. Now getting into all the plastics and the leathers like the seats inside the car, we got this new Tornador attachment that has the APC gun attached to it. And guys, if you're in the market for something like this, I would definitely, definitely recommend getting it. It might not be as satisfying to watch. Maybe it is. I kind of like watching it myself, but it cuts down the detailing time from an interior being maybe three to four hours. You could get it done in like an hour to two hours tops. So. Um, it's definitely worth investing in and it just makes sense for us to keep using it moving forward. So hopefully you guys still enjoy watching it. It just does such a good job. We can't, in some situations we might not, for the most part, it's definitely the best tool to use. And you'll even see when the leather seats are said and done, they looked a million times better. The only negative I will say is that it kind of fills the air with APC and stuff. So moving forward, we didn't have our respirators with us this time because we didn't know this was going to happen, but definitely would recommend wearing a respirator while you're using this tool because you don't want to breathe all that stuff in.
So moving on to the exterior, we actually did that first, but for the video, I put the interior first, but we wanted to cover up the windows because they wouldn't roll up, and obviously you don't want to get too much water or any water inside the car. So the first order of business was to tape up the plastic on the windows, and actually when we were done, they did a very good job. There was like no water that got in.
So you just saw us wash the car and the paint is still rough to the touch. And I don't want to do it too hard, but you can hear it. It's, it's, it sounds like sandpaper. And what's happened is over time, uh, much like our skin, paint is porous. And as it sat in this garage and collected dust, throughout the hot summers and cold winters, the paint expanded and then contracted. And in doing so, it literally like, kind of like absorbed this dust that was sitting on it for that long, which is why even a, a wash still leaves the paint, you know, uh, rough to the touch. So we are going to have to clay that off and you can actually hear, it sounds awful, but a lot better. So although the car's been sitting for a while and dust has been completely covering it, you guys can see there's still swirl marks in the paint and they're scratching. So obviously we want to take care of that today along with some of the oxidation in the paint. So we had to try a few different pad and polish combinations and eventually we got to the yellow foam pad and that seemed to work the absolute best for us. So what did we pull in? We pulled in at like 10, 10.20 in the morning. A little after 10. Yeah. You guys have been at it for what? A eight, good eight and a half, eight yeah, and a half well. nine hours now? Well, 10.30 to 8.30 roughly. So whatever that is, my brain's too fried to do math. I think it's 10 hours. I think it's 10 hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was never yeah. a math whiz, but, right. um, but man. <laughs> <laughs> so 
What you're saying is under all that, there was a car? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like I'm scared to look a little bit. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, it. Uh, oh my! <laughs> I can see the clouds, the reflection. I can. Oh my! I god, had no idea good. that it was gonna take as much effort as it did oh with the hood. Oh my god! And the, and the roof. But how did you get this kind of a shine out of this paint? <laughs> it's actually smooth now. You can actually—it's oh not sandpaper my. anymore. Honestly, I would say that the entire time that I've owned this car. Uh huh. I've never seen the paint look like this. In 21 Man, years, that is like the I have absolute, not seen it look like this. That's like the absolute best compliment that, it, that we could ever it, hope for. Especially oh with a car you know, of 25 years, and you've had it for yeah. 20, you know? Right, yeah, I've owned this car for, yeah, most of my adult life. It looks amazing, guys. Yeah. I am really impressed. And, and for it being original paint and-, and Right, uh, right, original paint that, Honestly, it's probably a little tired in some ways. For you know? sure. Yeah, it definitely uh, it definitely took a lot of elbow grease. Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, uh, wow. You know, and you're always uh, tiptoeing because, again, you know, original paint. So you got to. Sure, sure. No, oh my gosh, guys. I yeah. am really, really and impressed. I mean, we actually tried a, a different <laughs> method of cleaning uh, okay. on the interior where we used a, uh, it's called a, tor uh, called a tornador, which actually, like, uses air and uh, an all-purpose cleaner and actually okay. kind of, like, whips it in. It almost feels like a, a soft brush, but it's, it's actually air. Okay. Um, and, and I can't believe that it, it, it revived the leather, the leather uh, the way it did. So honestly, it was covered in a like a huge cloud of mold yeah. that looked terrible, <laughs> and this looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a wildlife experiment in here, and it looks outstanding, guys. To say the least, yeah. Wow, um, I'm genuinely impressed. Yeah, and it, like I said, you know, <laughs> it's really amazing. There's been so many days wow. where I have wow. detailed, you know, minivans and and scraped gum, and and it's you know days that you're working on something like this. Sure. It doesn't feel like work, you know. It goes. Yeah, by. yeah. Well, I mean, there's like you know your personal appreciation and enjoyment. You know, we're blessed yeah. that we get to do, you know, sure. something that we love and, oh, and that other I, people enjoy too, which is, it, it blows my mind that we even have the support we do. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys have got something really, really cool going on. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, we yeah. couldn't have done it without you. So yeah. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks very much. Yeah, I yeah, really genuinely appreciate it. It looks amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, and with that being said, thank you to Manscaped again for sponsoring this video. And thank you all for watching. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, or wherever they may be. And we'll see you next week.